Bueller. Just want to take a moment before we ask Tricia Phillips to sing and declare it through song, our God is greater. Our God is greater than anything. Lord, you're greater than the COVID-19, Lord. You're co greater than the fires. And I, I just checked on the fire.ca.gov incidents. And when I looked um, yesterday, there were so many fires. Oh my gosh, it was just like all red, just coming up. But they were coming up mostly in the southern part of the state. And it was just like coming up through the, through the, up to the northern part. And we, I just, you know, I just typed on Facebook and said, we call that holy fire. It's holy fire. God, Lord Jesus, that you burn up the dross, Lord God, burn up the dross. Lord, that it's holy fire, and Lord, destroy, God, the flames of destruction, Lord, that the enemy would send. Father, we just thank you, Lord, and we just thank you that you protect the firefighters. Oh, God, protect the firefighters, God. Give them strength. Keep them covered beneath your hoopah, Lord, your Psalm 91 covering also. We just say thank you, Father, for each and every firefighter for all of our law enforcement oh god encourage them the people would drop off words and notes of encouragement to them also our first responders lord we just say thank you thank you for everyone who is so greatly affected by the COVID 19 who are still serving us who are still putting their lives on the line we ask you to bless them lord bless them indeed we say thank you father for that lord shut down those fires god and Lord, we just praise you, God, that the only smoke we want, Lord, to be rising up is, is holy incense, holy, reverent incense unto you, O Lord, unto your nostrils, Lord, a sweet, sweet fragrance, Lord. And I know, Lord, that it has been so far today as we're coming to a, a close, Lord, of this conference, this time together, Lord, with you seated on the throne and with Yeshua Jesus seated at the right hand, and Yeshua, and Holy Spirit Rakakadesh here with us to help us here on earth, God. And we just say thank you that we are led. We are led by your spirit, no other spirit than Holy Spirit. And Lord, I also want to thank you because I really sense that you have allowed some of the precious saints who we love, who we we have been in partnership, Lord, but they have entered into their eternal glory. Lord, there are so many that come to mind, including my own parents and loved ones, Father. And I thank you, Lord, that they have, you opened up the heavens, Lord, and, and you let them see, God, the fruit of their labor, God. You let them see the fruit of their labor, God. So many, so many have labored so hard. And there, and also Joe Walsh there, Lord, in Swim, Washington, God, a father of faith, the father of prayer over California, Lord, who he says is in the final days of his life, God. And he's putting things in order in his heart, God. is so turned toward you, Lord. He has such great shalom, Lord, with his beautiful wife. Diane and his family, God. And so we just say thank you that Joe continues to post scriptures on Facebook and calling people to come to know you before it's too late, God. And we want everybody to do that, Lord. We just love you so much. And Jesus, like you said, that none should perish. We don't want anybody to perish. We're so grateful to you, Lord God. And we do pray, God, for increased discernment, Lord God, that we would immediately recognize good from evil, truth from lies, light from death. Lord, that we would walk in righteousness and holiness, Lord. And that, Father, we would raise a standard, God. Raise a standard, Lord, as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus Christ, and no longer compromise your word. We just say thank you, Father, for who you are and what you are doing in this state, Lord God. As so many have plowed and plowed and plowed, Lord, and some plants, God, they sow, Lord, and some reap. But, Lord God, we just say thank you. We call for souls, more souls, Lord God, to come to you, Lord. However you want to bring them, Lord, we say have your way. Have your way, Yahweh. We love you and we bless you. Thank you, Father, that we are your children. And we know, Lord God, that so often the world does not know us because it didn't know you. But we are your sons and daughters, part of this family, God family. 
and anybody else, anybody who's listening, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, he is so wonderful. He is so magnificent. He's Jehovah Rapha, the healer, God who heals. He's Jehovah Shalom, or God, the Prince of Peace. He is Jehovah Nisi. He raises a banner of love over us. You're so many things, Lord. We can go on and on and on, but mostly you are such a good, good father and such an amazing Messiah Savior. So we just bless you this day, Lord, as we say, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let everything, every ounce, every organ, our voices, everything within us glorify you and lift you up and give you all the praise and glory. We thank you, Father, and praise you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. We breathe you in, Lord. Continue to welcome you to increase. So, thank you, Lord. Wolfgang, would you like to unmute? Is there anything that you would like to add, precious brother Wolfgang? Um, I think in summarizing, we can say that um, what we just did here was a very pleasing aroma to the Lord. And what we, what we did in building the altar, we put something on the altar today that as we were carrier of stones in the last few days, uh, today that what went on the altar is a pleasing aroma to the Lord and I believe it is being consumed by him. And he takes the offering up, and I'm just so grateful for each and every person that has participated as a speaker, as a worshiper, as a prayer warrior. I'm so grateful for each and every person that has watched it live. I'm so grateful for each and every person that is going to watch it on YouTube in the future because we are going to make this conference available in, in individual uh, parts. Uh, and so it will be one part after another on the Pray California YouTube channel. And you, if you have a specific part that you absolutely loved, you will be able to share that part with others. And so uh, Pray California is going to make that available uh, so that you can share that. And we are so blessed by each and every one of you. And we are so grateful. Our hearts are full of yes. thanks and gratefulness for your participation and your sacrifice of time and prayer. The Lord is pleased in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I would like to all invite each and every one of you to join us on our weekly Wednesday Praise and Prayer Call. We kick it off at high noon um, with the shofars, and we just praise and worship the Lord. We share testimonies of His faithfulness, of answered prayer, and then, after that, then we pray. So you are all welcome. You can go to our website, um, www.praycalifornia.org and get the conference call number and the code. So, you know, you are so loved. You were so loved by the Lord. You were so important to him. You were made in the image of God and he counts every hair on your head. That is an amazing thought to me since our hair is you know, they change daily. So, but God's aware of everything that concerns us. He cares about the sparrow. How much more does he love you? Praise God. Hope to see you at the state capitol. Um, stay in contact. You can email and get on our newsletter if you would like to. We send out prayer alerts. And we just, we just want to continue to bless you and cover you in your household in prayer, especially to see God's kingdom come here in California, on earth, as it is in heaven, also across the nation and, is in, and in Israel. So thank you so much. Um, thank you, Wolfgang. Thank you all, the Pray California board and team, and all of you who are standing the gap for this beautiful state as we continue to be God's living stones, building, building walls of worship and just taking back what the enemy has stolen as we bless and possess the land wherever we go. Amen. Tricia Phillips, are you ready, sister? Okay, so we love that anyway. We love you, Jesus. He said just to sing this song to him. 
And so that's what I'm going to do. So, Man. water, you turned into wine. You opened the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Into the darkness you shine. And California, out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. Into the darkness you shine. In California, out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you, Yeshua. There's none like you. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God, oh, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God, and we know this is sure, and, and since our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And since our God is with us, then what would stand against? And since our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And since our God is with us, then what could stand against? What could stand against? What could stand against? What could stand against our oh God? Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer over California. Our son in power, our God, our God, yeah. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, he's our son in power, our God, our God. And since our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And since our God is with us, then what could stand against? And since our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And since our God is with us, then what could stand against? What could stand against? California, what could stand against? Our God. Nothing can stand against our God. Thank you, Yeshua. We love you. You're muted, Mariel. You're muted. Tricia, what do we normally, thank you. What do we normally do at the end of the call? Besides blowing the shofar, and besides saying the ironic blessing, because you already sang the ironic blessing over Sid Roth in English, and he, well, over all of us after Sid Roth spoke. But what else do we do at the end of the call? I, every Wednesday. I'll give you a hint. It's one of the Psalms. Oh, we sing Psalm 91. We sing Psalm 91. Yes, yes and we release yes. it. So we need to do that also. Yes. And um, also, while you're preparing to do that, Trish, um, <laughs> we also I want to invite everyone. Trisha mm -hmm. facilitates every Tuesday morning, 6.30 a.m. Pacific time. She facilitates a military family support group call. If you have loved ones in the military, you are so welcome to join that call. They stand in the gap. Tricia, you were going to share a couple of stories about that. 
I didn't put that on the program. But I just remembered because Holy Spirit just reminded me about, mm -hmm. about that and, and just the importance and what it means. And it's a national call. It's not just people who have family in California. Patricia and Michael have a son, Jonathan, who is in the Marines. hoo -ya! And so, um, so she birthed this call and it's part of our Pray California. So anyway, um, would you like to share, Tricia, just one little, about the importance of that call? Okay. Let me see. Let me close the that. Um, so this is our fifth year, and this is my son's fifth year in the, in the Marines. He'll be out. He'll be a veteran by 2021. So, um, but we've seen each other. We, I've got Ma Navy, um, Marines, Air Force. I've got Special Forces moms and grandmas and um we had one particular grandma i think she's watching um if you are miss cherry i love you um but um she's been with us and uh she is like a little girl inside i won't reveal your age but um she has two sons that are um are in the ones in the marines and ones in the navy but during this time her husband who is a marine veteran um passed away and um, she's, we've prayed her grandsons through deployments. When they, when they go ghost, it means they're going into a dangerous territory, so they cannot have their cell phones and things on so that the enemy can ping and find them. And so we've prayed them from deployments back. And um, recently, her one of her daughters um, uh, got COVID-19, and she passed away. And, um, and she made the comment, others have, that, we're like a family, even though we're all over the United States of America. And Cherry, who I'm talking about, she's in Florida. But we love each other in spirit because we intercede for four or five hours every Tuesday for our children, for our nation, for the military. We feel like all military sons and daughters are our children. And um, that it's been a, a great support group because unless you have a child in harm's way, um, civilians have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> or the, the just the taxing and the burden that it can be and that you have to learn to give it to God and give your child or grandchild to the Lord. So um, if you have a military family member, please join us every Tuesday morning at 630 Pacific Standard Time because I've got people in New York, Middle Texas, Florida, Connecticut, Washington, all over. So join us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Would you like to sing Psalm 91 covering, a hoopah covering over all of us? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. It was neat. We sing this every Tuesday morning, and it's always a different tune, and all of the women each do a verse, and every week it's a new tune from the Holy Spirit, which is fun. So. He is fun. Holy Spirit's fun. Okay. Thank you, Father, that we are covered by Psalm 91, your song of protection. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of Shaddai. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. And my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. And surely he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and underneath his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, 
nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noon. Oh, a thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not know it will not come near you, only with your eyes will you look and see the destruction of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord God who is my refuge, your dwelling place. Then no evil will befall you, and no disaster will come near your tent, for he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. Oh, they will hold you up in their mighty hand. Bless you, dash, and put against a stone. Oh, you will tread upon the lion and the cobra, yeah. You will trample the great lion and the serpent underneath. Feet. And because he loves me, and because he knows my name, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, and I will honor him. With a long life, with a longless life, and I'm sure him. Yes, I will show him my salvation. Oh, my, yes, <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Such a good prayer to pray over your household every single night, along with Psalm 23, too, every single, every single day. Thank you, Trisha. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. It's beautiful. Hallelujah. Now, um, now we're going to have uh, Bob Wolf, Rabbi Bob Wolf. And you all know I mentioned that earlier on this call. Some of us are ordained pastors and many ministers, and but we, we come together as families. So we really do drop titles on this call. You'll very, very seldom see me using the title because you know what? Except for uh, Beloved of the Lord or Handmaiden of the Lord, which some of you guys couldn't use. Yeah, maybe Handmaiden, <laughs> Handmister. But, um, okay, now I'm getting giddy. Lack of two hours of sleep last night and going. <laughs> we just say, thank you, Father. This wonderful day. I have to tell you, the time has just flown by. Oh, my goodness. From eight from 8.45 when we got on the Zoom call until until now. And we still have two more blessings to receive as we as we end this call for the time being. We will be having another another Zoom gathering. It's not our conference. This is our annual conference, but a Zoom gathering coming up in a couple months. And so we'll be letting you know about that with some amazing other speakers and worship leaders. So thank each and every one of you who have joined, who set this time aside to honor the Lord. And so we're going to have, um, actually we've asked, um, so Bob Will is, is going to close us with a, a break blessing. Plus we're also Brother Charles 
Um, Steve Long, he is a pastor and he is the president and CEO of Roots and Branches International Ministries. Um, and he's part of our Pre California Shofar team. And you can go to his website and we'll see what he does. And oh my goodness, he was sharing on the Zoom call last night how many nations he has blown the shofar in. And so, you know what? If you don't have a shofar, use your voice as your trumpet and um, praise God. So.